Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of I Should Be Painting with the new edition of Warhammer 40,000 coming out that is 9th edition this summer. Today we are going to be talking about how to not get overwhelmed if you are returning to the game or if you are a new hobbyist. Remember to like and subscribe, hit that bell button so you never miss an update, and if you want to take your patronage to the next level, check out our Patreon in the link below, or sign up for our newsletter at coolguysnation.com. With the new edition of Warhammer 40,000 coming out this summer, we can expect a lot of people, whether new or old, to be joining us in the hobby. While starting something new is always challenging, starting Warhammer 40k makes you extra susceptible to being overwhelmed by your new hobby. Because not only of the expensiveness of the game, but also the vast quantity of choices. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about manageable ways to approach Warhammer 40,000, whether you're a new player or a returning player. For me, when I start something new, I wanna make sure I'm excited about it. What we are doing is fun, so it should be fun. Pick and choose between which parts of the hobby that are most exciting for you. For example, if you're just not that interested in painting, then don't worry about building and painting. Buy your models, have somebody else build them and paint them, and do what's exciting. For example, focus on learning the tactics of playing the game, reading the rules, or enjoying the Warhammer 40k lore. You don't have to get involved in every aspect of the hobby right off the bat. When you start learning something new, especially when you are excited by it, it's very easy to go overboard. When I first started playing Warhammer 40k back in 4th edition, I went to the hobby store and I bought pretty much everything they had for sale for Space Marines. And when I checked out, the clerk remarked on the amount of stuff that I was buying. And in retrospect, that should have been a sign that I was buying too much and taking way too on as a new player. If you're coming back to the hobby, or if you're starting new, my recommendation is this. Either start by buying one starter box and splitting it with a friend and only working on half of it, or start by purchasing one box of a basic troop and start there. Also, if you're interested in doing something more long-term, start something called a slow grow campaign. A slow grow campaign is a week by week narrative gameplay experience where every week you add models to your army. And in the course of one or two months, you wind up building the core of your starting army without getting overwhelmed. If you're a returning player, using the opportunity of the new edition to learn something new is a fantastic idea. But similarly, don't go too big too fast. For example, if you want to learn wet blending, don't try to wet blend the entire starter box. Just focus on a couple models. Lastly, don't get discouraged by being discouraged. People inevitably go much slower or not come out as nice as you want them. And that can be discouraging, but know that it's also normal. If you start feeling discouraged or overwhelmed, that's okay. Simply take a break, take your project and set it aside and work on something else like organizing your hobby space or assembling a different set of miniatures. When you're ready and you're feeling excited again, you can start working on it. If however, you decide that you never wanna work on it again, that's okay. Because we started with a small project, we can avoid the sunk cost fallacy. The sunk cost fallacy is a feeling that because you have an initial investment in something, you have to keep working on it, spending time on it, or spending money on it in order to get your money back. When in reality, just stopping would be a lot less costly emotionally, financially. That said, setting it aside and giving yourself a break and then coming back to it, I'm sure is going to give you that sense of excitement and help you keep going with your newfound hobby. Here are five ideas to help keep you motivated, whether you're a new player or a returning player. First off, start with one faction. Don't try to buy the rule books for every single faction that you're interested. Buy one and learn those rules. Two, don't start with competitive play. Whether it's a small 10 person tournament or a 500 person tournament, right off the bat, that is a bad idea. Start with intro games and beginner games at your local game store. Three, Pick one thing to learn at a time. If you want to learn non-metallic metals, work on that. If you want to learn how to sculpt capes, work on that. Don't try to do everything all at once for your new army. Four, and probably most importantly, have a learning partner or a group of people who are all excited about the new edition of 40K. Bouncing ideas off each other and watching each other's progress is gonna help keep you motivated. Sup Josh, I miss you. 
Lastly, if you buy the starter box and you get really interested in it and you're thinking about purchasing more models, do not buy more models until you learn the rules for those models. One of the biggest mistakes that you can make is investing hundreds or even thousands of dollars in the models only to find out they're not the ones that you want to play with in your army. Let's go to the office and take a look at our three featured creators for this week. Here we are in the studio and we are going to take a look at our three featured creators. And this week we are starting out on YouTube with Eric's Hobby Workshop. He made a tutorial on this fantastic 40k gothic spaceship diorama. And this particular project got me really, really inspired. This is something that not only I like aesthetically, as you can tell, it's very similar to the shrine that I made for our studio. Um, but just in general, the photos that he's getting from it, the background lighting, like I just, I really, really like this project and I really like this tutorial. And because it's making me want to make things, I want to share it with all of you. So check out his YouTube channel, which is Eric's Hobby Workshop and specifically this project, which will be in the notes below. Next, we are taking a look at what I think is one of the most clever, unique, inspiring, fantastic projects that I have ever seen, and that is embroidered banners for your 40k army. I mean, this is just so cool. Custom banners embroidered instead of painted, which is really, really fun. Like, I saw this and I was just like, wow, like, I, I can't believe that I've never seen this before. Um, and this comes from Travis. He will actually make these for you if you go to his Facebook page, which is in the notes below, and it's Colleague Signatures. So if you want a custom banner actually made out of cloth and sewn, this is where to get it. Our final project is back on Facebook. We are looking at some paper craft, and it is by Alex Kun, and it's this helmet made entirely out of paper. This is a helmet from the video game series Doom. Every time I see paper craft, I just, I can't believe what amazing things that you can make out of paper and glue and shellac and paint. But of course you can, just like everything else. This helmet is very inspiring. I would love to make a Space Marine version of it. So thank you so much for sharing with the world, Alex. This is an amazing project. If you wanna check out more stuff made out of paper, check the creator link number three in the notes below. I hope you enjoyed this episode of I Should Be Painting and that you are looking forward as much as I am to the new edition of Warhammer 40,000, the ninth edition. If you are a new player, I hope that this helps guide your experience so that you don't get overwhelmed with your new hobby. And if you're a returning player, we'll see you on the table. Until next time, remember to like and subscribe, hit that bell button so you never miss an update, and if you want to take your patronage to the next level, check out our Patreon below or sign up for our newsletter at coolguysnation.com. You always say stuff really long.